want to bring you my foundation review of the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So finally, long awaited, if you guys would like to see how I feel about this foundation that I'm currently wearing today, please keep watching. Okay, so as you guys know, if you follow my channel, and if you followed it last year, I've been meaning to try the Fenty foundation for months. When it first came out, I wasn't too interested in trying it just because I don't really like trying a lot of new foundations. I have probably a good three foundations that I know I love, maybe four now, but I try to stick to the same foundations for spring and summer and winter and fall just because they work with my skin tone, texture, the undertones, like the type of skin I have for the season. But you guys told me that the Fenty Beauty Foundation was really nice so I finally decided to get a sample of it last month yeah I believe I got it in December and I picked it up in the shade number 370 so I want to read you guys some specs about the foundation the actual name of this foundation is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation which is a mouthful this product retails for $34 and it comes with 1.08 ounces which is a little over the traditional amount that you would get in a typical foundation bottle and it is described as a soft matte long wearing foundation with buildable medium to full coverage in a boundary breaking range of 50 shades the coverage is medium the finish is matte the formulation is liquid and it's best for skin types normal dry combination and oily so basically this is saying it's great for all skin types i don't know how that would work because I found this product to be drying in terms of application so I don't know how that would work on someone who has dry skin now when it's on my face and I'm wearing it throughout the day I don't notice myself getting any more oily or dry like it's just it's regular in terms of that but it's just not my preference in terms of what the actual liquid feels like I would have to agree that it is medium to full coverage I just think that I'm used to using more of a full coverage foundation that's just what I like I like cake face if I'm gonna be beat honey I want to be beat I don't want to look natural I do have foundations that are more for natural wear but when I'm getting all glammed up I like to to have full coverage I do also agree that it's a soft matte I definitely wouldn't call it a natural matte to me I have other foundations that look more skin like after I apply this foundation it doesn't look like skin it looks like foundation it's really hard to find a shade in my opinion I'm going to leave down below in the description box some of my equivalent foundation shades in some other popular foundations but when I looked at them in store, I could have worn anything from like a 350 to 360 to 370 and it was just confusing. <laughs> but the woman at Sephora actually told me that depending on my undertone, that's how I should pick the foundation and I ended up going with 370. I was going to pick 360 I believe, but she said that that one kind of oxidizes to look a little gray on the skin. So I picked 370. Now 370 is definitely more of a warm undertone, but I would rather look too warm than gray because gray and ashy that it's never cute. So I picked up number 370 and I've worn this foundation probably a good five or six times for like a full day, more than 12 hours sometimes. And I don't know how I feel about it. So I'm gonna insert a clip of myself putting it on. The number one con for me is that this foundation, the formula is so drying. So when I was actually applying the foundation, I feel like I have to use such a large amount to get the coverage that I need but by the time I'm blending one area of my face another area on the same side of my face is drying out now I do have oily skin and I know we're in winter but it's warm here in Atlanta it's about 70 degrees today and I sweat and get oily no matter what season it is so if I'm oily and this foundation formula is a little too dry I'm wondering how guys and girls with dry skin would deal with this foundation maybe you would have to use a different primer i don't know but it's a very very drying formulation that's the first thing that i noticed that i really did not like when i put on a foundation i like it to spread easily across my face because to me that's how you get the best blend something is really blendable and disappears if it can spread easily so i just feel like the formulation is a little too thick uh, it dries way too fast. It's a little drying. However, once I eventually get it on the skin, I love the way it looks. Just like you guys can see right now on camera, it looks 
really really nice like I wore this during vlogmas and I believe I told you guys what I had on and you guys really like the way the foundation looks so I don't dislike the foundation I think overall I would give it like three out of five stars I just don't think it's for my mmm I don't know it's just too thick and it dries way too easily and for me that's a negative because I like to pump my foundation on the back of my hand spread it on my face do one layer let it dry and then put another layer where I need more coverage in certain areas of my face but this foundation just dried way too fast it also didn't have enough coverage for my liking you guys know I have a lot of imperfections so I like a fuller coverage foundation and I just felt like I had to use way too much of this foundation to get the coverage that I wanted and at that point I just like even now I feel very cakey I do have on a lot of makeup but I just feel cakey so I don't know how I feel about this foundation I wouldn't recommend it me personally uh thank goodness I got the sample and not the full foundation because I will not be purchasing this one and I just think it's so interesting because when new products come out you always see people review them and they love them and then if you watch tutorials and favorites videos they've gone back to their old faithful so I wonder if people are just saying that they like things or what but you guys know that I'm always going to come and give you my 100% unbiased opinion if I don't like something I'm not afraid to say it uh I haven't tried anything else from the Fenty Beauty line <laughs> my friend actually is sending me the Fenty Beauty gloss bomb which you guys have raved about even that product I was on the fence with that for so many months like I don't know what it is about Rihanna's line it's nothing against her I just I don't know I'm not gonna count it out completely maybe I will try more Fenty Beauty in the future but as far as I can say right now I do like the way the foundation looks I just it's not my favorite so I'm not going to purchase it but I am glad that I tried it out because it is nice to see what's new on the market I tend to just experiment with lippies and eyeshadow and my face products tend to stay the same so if you guys have any comments or questions please leave them down below and I will see you guys in the next video bye Thank you.